Rotterdam residents in District 2 may finally have an answer to those overinflated sewer tax bills. News 10 ABC's Michaela Singleton tonight sharing Schenectady County's plan to take over that tax problem. Neighbors in Rotterdam are now thankful they waited until the 11th hour to pay their property taxes, hoping against hope for a resolution to outrageously high sewer charges. I was waiting to the last possible minute. I was even probably going to drop it off Monday night because technically that's still January 31st. As News 10 has previously reported, a data entry error caused the entire cost of a 2016 sewer improvement project to be pushed onto the 150 or so residents in Rotterdam Sewer District 2, Extension 1, forcing their bills into the thousands of dollars. It was an error the town's newly elected administration said was impossible to change. I'm not going to stay up here and say that we can just wave a magic wand and uh, you will no longer have this debt service because no one's convinced us at this point in time that we can change the situation that we're in. However, the Schenectady County Legislature now announces a resolution aiming to correct the tax charges. Chairman Anthony Jasinski says the Real Property Tax Department found a loophole in state law that would allow the county to intervene if the resolution passes during the next legislature meeting February 8th. Once the county legislature acts, those tax bills are frozen and it gives the uh, town uh, a window within which to issue corrected tax bills. The incorrect bills would be reduced, anyone who paid already would get a refund, and anyone who didn't get charged at all will see a new charge in 2023 for just around $36. Questions do still remain how the mistake happened in the first place. I don't know why anybody didn't see it. You would think that they would spot check them and noticing, you know, like $1,400, $1,500 difference. We went back to the town of Rotterdam offices Thursday afternoon. Supervisor Molly Collins and Deputy Supervisor Jack Dodson say it was difficult responding to such a huge crisis their first few weeks in office, but assure the community there will be future safeguards. We've implemented monthly department head meetings. I think the more that each department is able to communicate with each other to, and almost to act as uh, another set of eyes on anything. Continuity needs to be maintained in records uh, to make sure that the next administration or the next person and taking over that position realizes you just can't. They're not arbitrary numbers. In the meantime, neighbors are relieved and we even got our own unexpected thank you. Channel 10 really stepped up, kept asking questions and pushing for answers, and that was a big part of why this has been resolved. Reporting in Rotterdam, Michaela Singleton, News 10 ABC.